The history of the Colorado National Guard began 160 years ago on a cold winter morning before the state of Colorado was even a state. On that day, civic leaders from the city of Auraria, now downtown Denver, gathered to discuss growing security concerns. At the end of that meeting on January 23, 1860, the territory's first two independent companies of organized militia mustered, the Jefferson Rangers and the Denver Guards. Within two weeks, the newly sanctioned Jefferson Rangers were called upon to protect the city from a lawless band of thieves known as the Bummers. Lieutenant Edward Weinkoop, an important figure in the founding of Denver, led the Jefferson Rangers in the successful removal of the Bummers from the area. From that day, the Colorado National Guard started its legacy of service to community, state, and nation. The militia's first federal campaign ended in a Civil War victory for the Union. The 1st Colorado Infantry marched 400 miles in 18 days, often through blizzard conditions, to defeat Confederates at Glorieta Pass, New Mexico, March 26th through the 28th, 1862. Captain Weinkoop again distinguished himself. The militia's first disaster response came on the night of May 19, 1864, when flash flooding along Cherry Creek and Auraria killed about 20 people and caused $1 million in property damage. The Colorado Volunteers helped save many lives by pulling people out of the floodwaters using a boat that they had built by hand themselves. The men and women of the Colorado National Guard have served our nation during every major conflict in our nation's history. During the Spanish-American War, Colorado Volunteers led American forces into the city of Manila, raising the first American flag over the main objective. During World War I, two-time Medal of Honor recipient and Adjutant General of Colorado, Paul Baldwin, sent Colorado soldiers under Colonel Patrick Hamrock to the front lines to provide artillery support in the main battles of the campaign. During World War II, Colorado Guard units fought in both Europe and the Pacific. One of Colorado's most accomplished military and civic leaders, Brigadier General Felix Sparks, led the 3rd Battalion of the 157th Infantry Regiment to help liberate the Nazi labor camp at Dachau. During the Korean War, Colorado National Guard soldiers and airmen mobilized for the first time as two separate military branches to stop the spread of communism. F-86 fighter pilots and artillery personnel both joined the fight. During the Vietnam conflict, the Colorado Air National Guard became the first Air National Guard organization to be called to combat as a unit. F-100 pilots flew more than 1,000 combat sorties from Phan Rang Air Base. They dropped more than 10,000 tons of ordnance. During Desert Shield Desert Storm, Colorado National Guard soldiers and airmen joined coalition forces to remove the Iraqi army from Kuwait. The history of the Colorado National Guard is one of many firsts. The first and only Air National Guard demonstration team, dubbed the Minutemen, hailed from Colorado. Walt Red Eye Williams led this precision flying team which, beginning in 1953, performed at air shows in six countries. Their daring maneuvers showcased precision flying skills to more than three million spectators. They captivated the public and increased recruitment into the Colorado Air National Guard until the unit disbanded in 1959. The Colorado National Guard was even first in space for both Army and Air National Guard. Soldiers in Colorado Springs and Fort Greeley, Alaska stand ready 24-7 to defend our nation from intercontinental ballistic missile attacks. They use sensors that detect incoming missiles and, on order, fire ground-based interceptors to defeat the threat outside the Earth's atmosphere in the mid-course of flight. Airmen in Greeley and at Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado Springs provide around-the-clock global space capabilities for our national defense. Soldiers in Colorado Springs represent the only Army National Guard Space Battalion in existence. They deploy in Army space support teams to support warfighters across the world. Back at home, they provided imagery and analysis to incident commanders during the largest wildfires to impact our state. The terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, issued in a new chapter in the Colorado National Guard's service to our nation. Within minutes of the attacks, airmen launched the first defensive aircraft over Denver and provided combat air patrols over the Colorado Front Range and western United States as part of Operation Noble Eagle. Colorado Air National Guard airmen guard America's skies with the most agile and dependable airframes flown today. 
Since September 11, 2001, thousands of Colorado National Guard soldiers and airmen have deployed for combat missions in support of Operations Enduring Freedom, Iraqi Freedom, New Dawn, and other overseas contingency operations. Even today, fathers, mothers, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, neighbors, employees, and friends stand in harm's way, supporting missions around the world to protect our national security. As a pioneering state, our National Guard members continue to adopt new federal missions. Reuniting with Colorado's past and the development of its ski industry, the U.S. Army's 10th Mountain Division returned to its roots in Colorado through the realignment of a Colorado Army National Guard Infantry Battalion, upholding the American tradition of mountain warfare training that began at Camp Hale, Colorado during World War II. Colorado National Guard members use cyber capabilities to assist the Colorado Secretary of State's office to protect critical election infrastructure during two statewide elections. The Colorado Guard's new cyber protection team deploys its cyber assets for the warfight. The Colorado National Guard was among the first to form alliances under the National Guard's State Partnership Program. SPP supports geographic combatant commands by building long-term relationships, improving interoperability, and enhancing military capabilities and the principles of responsible governments. Colorado forged strategic, enduring international friendships with the Republic of Slovenia in 1993 and the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan in 2004. Colorado was the first state in the program's history to partner with a Middle Eastern country and a nation in the Levant region. Since 2016, Colorado has participated in the National Guard's partnership and homeland defense cooperation with Israel's Home Front Command. Exchanges focus on best practices for domestic response missions, including interagency coordination. The Colorado National Guard also leads the equipment component of the National Guard Arctic Interest Council. The council recommends tactics, force design, and equipment that the U.S. Army needs to fight in extreme cold weather with deep snow or ice. This critical planning will help secure U.S. interests in the rapidly transforming Arctic region. While engaged in significant overseas federal commitments, the National Guard has never forgotten its missions back home. When directed by the governor, the National Guard responds during domestic emergencies, supporting local, state, federal, and tribal partners to save lives, reduce suffering, and mitigate great property damage. When torrential rains caused the St. Vrain River along Highway 36 to flood, Colorado's National Guard was there. Soldiers and airmen conducted ground and air search and rescue operations, evacuating more than 3,000 people and more than 1,000 pets. The National Guard also assisted law enforcement to secure affected areas, filled sandbags, transported nearly 50 tons of relief supplies, and helped repair Highway 36. During major winter storms in Colorado, the Colorado National Guard rescued stranded motorists and pets, delivered hay to farmers to feed their stranded livestock, and transported patients to hospitals. And when wildfires raged through multiple counties in South Central Colorado, Guard members helped extinguish the fires, prevented loss of life, and safeguarded property. Colorado Civil Support Team members aid state and local agencies with identification, assessment, advice, and assistance in response to hazardous materials like suspicious packages and substances. Colorado Army National Guard helicopter air crews using specialized hoist capabilities have helped ground rescue teams save hundreds of lives in Colorado's high country. Our pilots trained at the only U.S. military aviation school that teaches helicopter pilots to manage power in mountain environments. The Army National Guard's High Altitude Aviation Training Site draws military pilots from the U.S. and allied nations to the small Colorado mountain town of Gypsum. Colorado's Joint Counter-Drug Task Force assists law enforcement with hundreds of arrests and seizure of currency and illicit drugs. Through its signature Red Ribbon program, Colorado National Guard members personally challenge local students to stay the course, finish school, and excel in all they do. National Guard men and women have educated more than 100,000 Colorado youth in drug prevention awareness. No doubt about it, the Colorado National Guard has a storied past and an even brighter future. Replacing and modernizing equipment will ensure mission effectiveness and seamless integration with active duty counterparts. 
dual-use equipment offers more capability, capacity, and value for every tax dollar spent. Aircraft used in combat can assist local civil authorities with emergency response and relief operations here at home. Building and updating readiness centers and maintenance and training facilities will accommodate a growing force structure, evolving federal and state missions, and even more advanced aircraft and equipment. This will keep pace with increasing National Guard responsibilities alongside a growing Colorado population. The Colorado National Guard has a long history that more than 160 years later, our soldiers and airmen continue to write. Always ready, always there.